If New York is the melting pot, then Fish City can only be described as the Booyah Base. Trust me, being a good cop in a bad town can be murder. It was another Monday morning in Fish City. As usual, it looked like an exceptional day. This is my beat, and this is where I eat. Thank Neptune for pearls. In a turbulent sea of surprises, pearls is calm and peaceful. How? I don't know. What's the matter with you this morning? This morning? Why should this morning be any different from any other morning in the history of mornings? Nothing ever changes. And I've decided to do something about it. My new menu. Well, crack my shell. A special named after me. The Krabby. Peppery tongue on crusty bread. <laughs> what are you laughing at, bub? Get a load of the Inspector Gill. Cornflakes and coffee. Okay, so I'm a little predictable. A little? Are you wearing a green tie today? Yeah. Well, then, it must be Monday, or Tuesday, or Wednesday, or Thursday. So I'm consistent. Monotonous. Reliable. Boring. I've had it. I am bored, bored, bored. All aboard that's going aboard. Oh, <sighs> bored. Hey, I can be as unpredictable as the next fish. Excuse me, that's someone else's seat. Sorry, pal, I must have missed the brass plaque. I'd like a cup of coffee, beautiful. Cream and sugar or gorgeous? Uh, I mean black. <laughs> Cream and sugar, sugar. Didn't you end up eating steak through a straw the last time you called pile, sugar? Ahem. Nasty cop. I'd have that checked if I were you. But you're not me, and you're still sitting on my stool. Hey, if it means that much to you. Besides, I've got to go anyway. Au revoir, ma petite poisson. Oh, likewise, I'm sure. What did he do? He called you a small fish. But it sounded different somehow. Come on, catfish. I'm not getting any younger. Hmm. Come to think of it, I'm not getting any. Patience, Goldie, patience. My third husband said I had the patience of a saint. Of course, that's when he dressed up like a monkfish and called me Mother Superior. <laughs> Thanks. Hubba, hubba, detective catfish. Are you going undercover tonight? No, Ted. I always wear a miniskirt and fishnet stockings on Mondays. Now that was my fourth husband. Hey, not so fast, Fishcakes. I'm collecting for the Widows and Orphans Fund. And I can make you give till it hurts. Ask my fifth husband. You got any paper money? You know, green stuff? Dead presidents? Hey, I'm a cop, not Oysters Rockefeller. Listen up. I have a short announcement. That'll be the day. Put a lid on it, ladies. This is Inspector C. Bass, and he's more than just a pretty face. That's a pretty face? Well, 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 if it isn't Mr. Brass Plaque. You two know each other? Yeah, we had breakfast together. You can scramble my eggs anytime, honey. Gil, meet your new partner. Partner? Who needs a partner? I've never had a partner before. Well, you've got one now. 
Bass just transferred in from Altoona. He's a sting expert. He's here to help you with the Dwarf Gourami gold bullion case. I don't need help. I'm this close. Good, good. He'll just get you that much closer. Now update him on the file. Uh, it's in this mess somewhere. I I'll find it later. Not necessary, Chief. I've been following this shipment since it disappeared from Fort Locks. Then I suppose you know when it's planning to appear in Fish City. Don't you know? I can see that you two will make quite a team. What is an orphans, huh? You came to the right fish. I've been an orphan since I was six. Aww. That's quite a watch, doll. It's nothing compared to the feeling I get back. Pardon my sour grapes, but this cop had one cherry roadster while I drove a lemon. That and the fact that he tried to squeeze my tomato this morning made him not exactly the apple of my eye. What'd you do, win the lottery? Let's just say I know where to put my money. So how long you been drinking Pearl's coffee? Long enough to have a special named after me. Yeah? Well, a gal's got a right to add a new entree to her menu. <laughs> Not this gal. I've been her steady diet for five years. Well, maybe she'd like to try something a little bit richer and more filling. Reel in your recipe, buddy. You don't have the right ingredients. Turn left up here. Where are we going? The Shell Shack. It's just about happy hour for the snitches. Perfect. Maybe if we flash a little silver, we can pick up some info about the gold. Don't you just want to smack him? Who's the bass? Boss. There's some new hotshot cop in town. Inspector Gill's bad enough, but at least he's predictable. I hate not knowing something. Uh, don't worry, boss. You get used to it. You don't have a brass plaque on this one, do you? Hey, Dimador, my drink is watered down. It's water brains like him who give us crustaceans a bad name. Hey, isn't that the sharp-looking bass who parked his keister on your stool at Piles this morning? My new partner, charming, isn't he? Check out the threads. Yeah, where's he get all the clams? I don't know yet, but I'm gonna see what I can dig up. Hey, Inkblood, you got any skinny for sale? No, but I have Fatso here on the payroll. And if you don't get your filthy fins off me, I'll have him on you. Yeah, right. Okay, spread them. All ten of them. Nobody talks like that to the boss. Don't get sore, Muscles. Does your friend have any idea who I am? No introductions necessary. I recognize your kind. This is Calamari. Uh, he owns the joint. Sorry, my mistake. Let me buy you a drink. How kind. Why don't you make it around for the house? Hi, tall, striped, and handsome. I'm Angel. Hi, Angel. Are you here to show me your little piece of heaven? <gasps> yeah? You want to take the tour? Baby, I always travel first class. Well, I'm on. I'll say. The minute you swam in the joint, I could see you were a fish of distinction, a real big spender. Good looking, so refined. Say, wouldn't mm. you like to Pearl for breakfast, angel for dinner. I could get used to this cuisine. Sounds like your eyes are bigger than your stomach. This bass is swimming a little too tall for my taste. I suggest we bring him to his knees. But how? Angel. Booze? Gambling? Chocolate? I doubt if we could bring Bass down with a chocolate bar. See, my mother had this problem. She would eat all my Halloween candy. <laughs> Sorry, boy. I thought I worked this through. I don't care if it's cash or candy. Find out what it is now. This smart bass has got to go. Extra! Extra! Read all about it! Dino 
Arctic duo. Crime was down. That was good. Bass was taking credit for it. That was bad. Chief Abalone seemed happy. That was good. But I didn't trust my partner, and that was bad. Because when a cop is trying to be that good, he's got to be hiding something that's bad. And what kind of a cop doesn't wear a hat? Then there was the time in Clearwater I was tailing these three spiny puffers. Ooh. Yeah, you know what they're like when they're cornered. Of course, my partner froze on me, so I had to take him out myself. Caught one in the left fin. That's this scar right here. Oh. Any questions? Just one. Are you single? <laughs> Tad, where's the file on... Seabass from the Altoona PD. Right here, uh, sir. I wouldn't bother reading it, though. They couldn't say enough good things about him. That makes two of us. If you won't be needing me for anything else, sir, I'd like to sit in with Inspector Bass and take notes. At two, Tad? Ooh. Ooh. Looks like I've got a date with an angel. Give her my best. She's had your best. Apparently, it wasn't good enough. Uh-huh. Yeah. Tonight. Got it. Uh, Chief, about the dwarf Gorami Bullion, it's coming down. 2,200 hours, dwarf warehouse, three months of work finally paying off. Good, good. Dwarfs at the wharf. And Gil, this time when the photographers show up, try to get in the picture. Aren't you being a little optimistic? All 150 bars of gold? You think they can move that much bullion at once? I've done my homework. Word is it's being driven out of Fish City tonight. Care to join our little roadblock? Of course, if you have a more pressing engagement. Don't worry, Gil, I can make both of them. Shoot, it's my mother's birthday. I've got to go call her. You dwarf garamis, reach for the surface. We prefer to be called little garamis. I don't care if you prefer to be called little Bo Peep. You're going to the big house. Uh, not unless it's a felony to transport chicken broth across state lines, uh, sir. Chicken bullion gill! But it was gold bullion. I knew it. Someone must have tipped them off. I thought this bus was watertight. It was, but we recently sprang a slow leak. Does that obnoxiously toothy smile mean you've got something on that loathsome sea bass? I think you'll be particularly pleased with what I dredged up. Well, it's not exactly what I was hoping for, but this could be fun. <laughs> After my bus went flat, I was lucky I didn't get canned. I couldn't prove it yet, but I felt in my gut this bass was on the take. And that left me in the soup. Ahoy, pearls, my pearls, my beacon, my haven, my sacred divine shelter. She'd be on my side. New special, huh? Well, it's just like me. Beefy. Hammy. Extra dressing. Cheesy. With lots of lettuce. Bologna. Gil, where are you going? You just got here. I'm suddenly feeling sick. They say chicken bouillon is good for that. <laughs> Gil? Sandy, there has to be something I'm missing. I know Bass blew the whistle on my bus, but when? The only time the guy was out of my sight was when he went to call his mother. <gasps> Didn't Bass say he was an orphan? Before the bus went south, Bass said he was calling his mother. Huh, only if he used a Ouija board. Stay tuned. bonkers over bass and I was about to burst their bubble. Well, pop my punch. Another winner. That bear sure can pick him. 
too bad his brain wasn't around when you was picking husbands. It's too bad my brain wasn't around when I was picking husbands. Where's Abalone? He's having breakfast with Mayor Cod, humble pie and chicken soup. I have to talk to you, Chief. After what I had to swallow this morning, you don't want to talk to me now. You don't want to talk to me later. Does he, co-workers? No, no he, he doesn't, doesn't want to talk, talk to you now, now or later. later. In fact, you won't want to talk to me until my retirement party, which, by the way, you won't be invited to. But, Chief, it's about Bass. I got called on the carpet this morning. So you are now my personal doormat. You got a problem with your partner? There he is. Deal with it. I hate to interrupt this male bonding, but we've got to jump up. Where? On top of a building. You want to be a little more specific? What? You want an address? Above the Shell Shack penthouse. Gil, Bass, get on it. Now! This is Connie Coy from KELP, reporting live from the Shell Shack. We'll stay on the scene as the drama unfolds. What is it? What's what happening? Oh, my goodness. Is this really going to Even I haven't had Angel on the hood of a car. Why you don't stay I stay down, down here, here and wait for Abalone? Abalone. I'll tell him Bass, Bass and I went, went up to the top of the building. building. What is that, a whale? Let's do it. Come on. No need for both of us to go way up there. Why don't I stay way down here and coordinate things from this end? What's the matter, Bass? Your face is starting to match my tie. Nothing matches your tie, including your jacket. I'm just a little... Do I detect a touch of acrophobia? You want a scoop? Hey, Blubberbot, what are you doing out there? The boss wanted I should shine the ball on the end of the flight pole. It was trickier than it looked. Come on, I can't handle that lug by myself. Besides, don't you want to see the view from up here? Wrong answer, Bassy Babe. Come on, out of fish. Hey, Gil, your friend don't look too healthy. And they say you're not smart. Beautiful day, isn't it? The water's so blue. And look how tiny everybody looks. Way, way down there. If this mountain jumps, he's gonna take out a city block. Queasy stomach, Bass? I hear chicken bullion is good for that. I know you busted my bus. That gold bullion belonged to the feds, and now you've got it out on the street, thanks to your timely telephone tip to your mother. Hey, we're partners, aren't we? How does 50% of my 20% sound? Like 10%. Besides, that would put me on the take, just like you. All right, all right, I admit it. I'm dirty. I'm as dirty as that stain on your tie. Let's keep your confession on a professional level, okay? Oh, and to think I put him on my menu. Connie, did you get that? Don't worry, I'm sure they got your good side. Hey, Flatfin, what about me? Let go, you boob, you're in water. You mean, Exhibit A? Here, Chief. And if you check the trunk, you'll find the rest of the bullion. Gold, not chicken. What tipped you off? Well, Chief Bass told me he put all his moolah into his wheels. I started figuring maybe he meant that literally. You also knew exactly how many gold bars there were. How unlike you to be so sloppy. Get this bass out of my sight. Good work, you. Next time, I'll listen to you. Nah. Oh, what was that for? Being a good cop, a good guy, and just plain good. 
well, some of us are just plain good because some of us are just plain bad. There are times when bad can be good. Angel, now that's bad. It was nice to see things swinging back to normal. And there I'd been worried that Bass had taken Angel to new heights. Little did I know. <laughs> Mom? No, chocolate. Yeah, I'm sorry I made a mess of things, boss. No, contraire, my loyal underling. You far exceeded my expectations, and so did Inspector Gill. Ah, predictability. It's so predictable. Bass made his last transfer to Hattica. Last I heard, he put the warden on the worst dress list and ended up in solitary. But Bass will be fine. After all, it's all in the attitude. Or, should I say, altitude? You were pretty amazing up there. I'm pretty amazing down here, too. I know. That's why I've named a new special after you. The Hero Sandwich? What's all this? Can't a carp change? Well, just as long as there's still some of the old gill in there, too. Why don't you frisk me and find out? <laughs> You'd like that, wouldn't you? <laughs> you bet. In fact, I'll make it easy. You persnickety piranhas! Like you guys got discriminating palates? You'll eat your young, but you won't eat my sandwich. What's the matter with you, ain't you the heck not with you? Alex Foley's back as bad as ever, and he's facing lethal beauty Brigitte Nielsen. Eddie Murphy and Judge Reinhold team up in the box office smash. Beverly Hills Cop 2, tomorrow. Now don't swim away. Tequila and Bonetti is next.